When MFA is enforced by your organization, the first time you log in afterwards will look a little different. Insert your email and password like usual. Once you click the sign in button, the login screen will tell you that there is some more information required to keep your account secure. Click next to begin the setup process. On the first page, Microsoft asks you to download the Microsoft Authenticator app. Go to the App Store on iOS or the Play Store on Android to download it. Or click the link on the page itself to get started. Microsoft also allows you to use different Authenticator apps if you wish to do so. But for now, we're going with Microsoft's offering. You might also see this option down here called I want to set up a different method. With this option, you can select to add a phone number instead so you can use SMS authentication. However, due to fraud methods like once you have the Microsoft Authenticator app installed, click Next. Open the app and accept the privacy policy and tell Microsoft whether or not you want to send them usage data. Now, instead of tapping Sign in with Microsoft, tap on Scan a QR code. Give access to the camera if necessary. In your browser, click on Next until you see a QR code pop up. You have to scan this one with the Microsoft Authenticator app. If for whatever reason you can't scan the QR code or the camera doesn't work, you can click the Can't Scan Image button underneath the QR code to make a code appear. On your mobile device, step on the Or Enter Code Manually button and insert the information from your browser into the Microsoft Authenticator app. Once you've scanned the QR code or have inserted the information manually, the app might ask you to allow notifications. Always tap Allow for this as notifications are very important. Your account is now added to the home screen of the Microsoft Authenticator. In your browser, click Next. A code you have to insert now appears. Insert this code into the pop-up that appears in the Microsoft Authenticator app and tap Yes. On iOS, the app might ask you if you want to enable Face ID to confirm logging in. Allow this as it's the most secure way to confirm that you are you. In your browser, check if the status says Notification Approved. If it does, then everything is good to go. Click Next again to confirm that your default sign-in method is now linked to the Microsoft Authenticator app and click Done to finish the process. You have now successfully enabled multi-factor authentication for your account and you're now a little bit more secure than you were before. Feels good, right? Now, every time you want to log in, you have to keep your phone handy and insert the code displayed on the page into the Microsoft Authenticator app. And if you get this pop-up knowing that it wasn't you prompting it, press the No, It's Not Me button and the bad actor trying to access your account won't get in this way. Good luck!